the day class, today's topic is about addition and subtraction of rational algebraic expressions. We have here 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5. In addition and subtraction of rational algebraic expressions, we always check the denominators. Here, the denominators are the same. If the denominators are the same, all we have to do is copy the denominator. And since the operation here is addition, we're going to add the numerators. 1 plus 3 is 4. So 4 over 5 is our final answer. Let's try another example. 6 over 7 minus 2 over 7. Again, the denominators are the same, so we're going to copy the denominator. And since the operation is subtraction, we're going to subtract the numerators. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 over 7 is our final answer. Let's try this example. 1 over 3 plus 2 over 4. As you can see, the denominators are different. If the denominators are different, the first thing you need to do is to multiply their denominators. So 3 times 4 is 12. Next, we're going to multiply the numerator of the first term and the denominator of the second term. 1 times 4 is 4. Then copy the operation. Next, we're going to multiply the denominator of the first term and the numerator of the second term. 3 times 2 is 6. Now, let's just simplify our answer. Let's just copy the denominator first. Then 4 plus 6 is 10. We now have 10 over 12. 10 over 12 can still be simplified. The simplified form of 10 over 12 is 5 over 6. And that will be our final answer. Let's try another example. 2 over 4 minus 2 over 5. Since the denominators are different, we're going to multiply the denominators. 4 times 5 is 20. Next, we're going to multiply the numerator of the first term and the denominator of the second term. 2 times 5 is 10. Then copy the operation. Next, we're going to multiply the denominator of the first term and the numerator of the second term. 4 times 2 is 8. Now, let's just simplify our answer. Let's just copy the denominator first. 10 minus 8 is 2. So, we now have 2 over 20. 2 over 20 can still be simplified. The simplified form of 2 over 20 is 1 over 10. 1 over 10 is our final answer. Let's try this example. x over 5 plus 3x over 5. Since the denominators are the same, we're going to copy the denominator then, we're going to add the numerators. x plus 3x is 4x. 4x over 5 is our final answer. Let's try another example. 6 over 7y minus 2 over 7y. Again, the denominators are the same, so we're just going to copy 7y. And since the operation is subtraction, we're going to subtract the numerators. 6 minus 2 
is four. Four over seven y is our final answer. Let's try a different example. X over 5x plus 3x over 5x. Again, this example have the same denominators. So we're going to copy the denominator 5x. And since the operation is addition, we're going to add the numerators. x plus 3x is 4x. Now, since we have x on the numerator and x on the denominator, we can cancel out those two x's, leaving us with 4 over 5. And that will be our final answer. Another example. 6x over 7y plus 2 over 7y. The denominators are the same, so we're just going to copy the denominator 7y. And let's add the numerators. Since 6x and 2 are not similar terms, we cannot combine them. So all we have to do is write them together. 6x plus 2. Our final answer is 6x plus 2 all over 7y. Another example, 3 over 2x minus 2 over 3. In this example, the denominators are different. So we're going to multiply the denominators. 2x times 3 is 6x. Then we're going to multiply the numerator of the first term and the denominator of the second term. 3 times 3 is 9. Then copy the operation and multiply the denominator of the first term and the numerator of the second term. 2x times 2 is 4x. Our final answer, 9 minus 4x all over 6x. Another example, 2 over 2x minus 2 over 3. Since the denominators are different, we need to multiply the denominators. 2x times 3 is 6x. Next, we're going to multiply the numerator of the first term and the denominator of the second term. 2 times 3 is 6. Then copy the operation. Next, we're going to multiply the denominator of the first term and the numerator of the second term. 2x times 2 is 4x. We now have 6 minus 4x all over 6x. The numerator here can be factored using common monomial factor. So let's just copy the denominator first and write the factored form of 6 minus 4x. The factored form is 2 multiplied to the quantity of 3 minus 2x. Now, we can simplify 2 over 6. The simplified form of 2 over 6 is 1 over 3. And we're just going to copy the rest. And now, all we have to do is write the answer to its simplest form. And the simplest form is 3 minus 2x all over 3x. As you can see, we just removed the 1 and the parenthesis. Since 1 multiplied to the quantity of 3 minus 2x is equivalent to 3 minus 2x. Our final answer, 3 minus 2x all over 3x. Let's try another example. 2 
over 2x minus 2 over 3y. Since the denominators are different, we're going to multiply the denominators. 2x times 3y is 6xy. Then multiply the numerator of the first term and the denominator of the second term. 2 times 3y is 6y. Then copy the operation, multiply the denominator of the first term and the numerator of the second term. 2x times 2 is 4x. Now we have 6y minus 4x all over 6xy. Again, the numerator can still be factored using common monomial factor. So let's just copy the denominator first and write the factored form of 6y minus 4x. And that is 2 multiplied to the quantity of 3y minus 2x. Now, we can simplify 2 over 6. The simplified form of 2 over 6 is 1 third. And copy the rest. Again, we need to put this to its simplest form. And the simplest form is 3y minus 2x all over 3xy. Final answer. 3y minus 2x all over 3xy. Let's try this example. 2 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. Again, the denominators are different, so we're going to multiply the denominators. x, multiply the numerator of the first term and the denominator of the second term. Then copy the operation. Then multiply the denominator of the first term and the numerator of the second term. Now, let's just simplify everything. First, let's just copy the denominator. 2 multiplied to the quantity of x minus 1 is 2x minus 2. And negative 1 multiplied to the quantity of x plus 1 is negative x minus 1. Now, we can combine the like terms on the numerators. Let's copy the denominator first. Now, we can combine 2x and negative x. 2x plus negative x is x. And negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. Now, since this is the simplest form, all we have to do now is put the denominator in the standard form. So, let's just copy the numerator and write the denominator to its, ex to its standard form. That is x squared minus 1. So, our final answer is x minus 3 all over x squared minus 1. For my last example, we have 2x plus 1 all over x plus 3 over x minus 2. The denominators are different, so we're going to multiply the denominators. Then multiply the numerator of the first term and the denominator of the second term. Then copy the operation and multiply the denominator of the first term and the numerator of the second term. Now, let's just simplify everything. Let's just copy the denominator first. The product of quantity 2x plus 1 and quantity x minus 2 is 2x squared 
minus 3x minus 2. Then copy plus 3x. Now, we combine the like terms on the numerator. Let's just copy the denominator first. Negative 3x and 3x can be combined. So negative 3x plus 3x is 0. So we now have 2x squared minus 2 all over x multiplied to the quantity of x minus 2. And this is already the simplest form. Now all we have to do is put the denominator to its standard form. So copy the numerator and write the denominator to its standard form. And that is x squared minus 2x. Our final answer, 2x squared minus 2 all over x squared minus 2x. And that's how you add and subtract rational algebraic expressions.